Hello guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time Wonderfest is going on. We got a couple of Transformers Masterpiece reveals as well as for Studio Series. We got a good look at the Scrapper, Overload, and the full combined Devastator. I've already talked about the Masterpiece toy, so I'm going to focus on the Constructicons, the remaining ones to fit for Devastator. This has been a long time coming, so let's go ahead and talk about it. Starting off with Overload, which if I mess up, I constantly want to say Overlord. Their names are just way too similar. Anyways, this is based on concept art for a character that was never seen in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, but the alt mode was seen. Anyways, in the alt mode, it looks pretty cool. You do notice that the barrel kind of sticks up at the top there. I believe that's going to be removable because I'm not seeing that in the robot mode and it just sticks out way too much. It just looks like a piece of kibble that's obviously meant for Devastator's combined mode, and that's pretty much it. I'm hoping that there's like a side-to-side -side tilt uh, on the back there, but uh, it looks really cool, very long, and uh, yeah, I I'm interested in that. Um, very cool. And the robot mode looks very nice too. Uh, obviously, it's very alien and not traditional to, uh, of course, the original Constructicons. But of course, this is the Bay, Ver um, Bay Universe. And so the Constructicons look like these very monstrous things. Uh, it's got a little tail that sticks up. I think that's pretty cool. It does not have the four legs like some of the uh, concept art did have. It just has the two legs, but it does have four arms. Two of these kind of weaker looking clamps and then two of these like pincher like praying mantis or something claws which is pretty cool it sticks up on the shoulders so i really do like that uh the sculpt overall looks pretty cool i do like how the chest is formed i, I think that looks nice uh but yeah this is the second and last leader class figure for the devastator set and last but not least for Devastator is Scrapper, which I am so glad that they're doing. One of the Constructicons I really wanted for Revenge of the Fallen was Scrapper, and they never made a toy outside of the Legends class um, toy line. And I gotta say, it looks pretty impressive in the robot mode. In alt mode, it is Kibbly, but I'm kind of used to that with construction vehicle transformers. They're not always perfect. However, I will say that the scoop at the front has some robot kibble inside there, and I'm just not sure how I feel about that. But overall, the entire alt mode might not be accurate, I can't remember, but it looks pretty cool. The robot mode is what really shines. I love how the shovels form the feet. I think that looks really cool. Uh, I think he's got a bulky torso, but it's fine. And I do love the fact that he's got that kind of mace weapon for one arm and then the claw for the other. I think that looks very cool. Um, so yeah, definitely interested in Scrapper. This forms the other arm. This is also the last Constructicon before we get Devastator, which we're going to talk about right now. And Devastator has had some iffy um, prototypes. He, he's had some... He had the original one, which was just a placeholder. It wasn't meant to be the actual Devastator. And then we got that gray prototype that... Uh, or not the gray one, but that uh, colored prototype with the scrapper that was in blue. And it was obviously mistransformed, but it was kind of concerning because some of the elements to it just didn't really fit right. Uh, e even mistransformed, it just didn't really look good. But I can say right now that while Devastator is in this kind of weird standing pose and he should be crouching down, I actually think it looks all right. Uh, first of all, I noticed that all the Kibli parts for Devastator seem to plug on somewhere to this figure. Uh, the little panel that comes from Scrap Metal goes to his knee, and then the base that goes to Rampage is, well, on his butt, which is kind of weird, but at least it's there. Um, and everything seems to fit together pretty well. I also like the red. I think that seems to flow pretty well. Uh, even though I kind of wish Rampage was yellow and we could potentially get a Skipjack later down the road to uh, fill in that gap of, well, an actual colored Rampage. Um, but, you know, still, nonetheless, I think that this set looks pretty good. I'm kind of surprised that... Um, uh, I, the name just slipped my mind. Scrapper. Uh, looks good by comparison to the high tower and scrap metal, which is formed by two deluxes. And uh, yeah, I just think that the entire thing looks pretty cool. I'm a little behind. I haven't gotten the Mixmaster and I haven't gotten the 
uh, scavenger yet, but I definitely want them. I was concerned with getting the Constructicons early on, but seeing this, it's actually not bad. I know it's not for everyone, you know? It, it's Devastator, it's a movie-verse figure. It's gonna look like a jumble of mess, but I, I think overall, it looks a lot better than I thought it would, and uh, I kind of have a, a soft spot for the early Transformers movies. Um, so yeah, Revenge of the Fallen Devastator. What do you guys think? Please comment below. Let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudettes, and I will see you guys next time.